All right, hello everyone. I just want to talk about the combo that you would want to expect from this uh, new ID and ego first before I talk about anything else because uh, it's probably going to be easier to understand what's going on with this uh, flow of the game using this um, visual. So starting off with Cavernous Reeling Honglu, that will convert your base tremor, no matter the amount, even one tremor count and one tremor potency will be converted into yellow tremor is good because yellow tremor lets you do sloth damage per burst based on the tremor potency. What white tremor does is that it lets you duplicate your burst so you can have additional chances of bursting and that will let you burst even more of the yellow so you can get additional procs of the sloth damage so it's extremely extremely strong to combine them both to the point that all of the other tremors you can just ignore, right? With Faust, Faust Ego actually bursts four times. And if you burst four times, she will also apply the white um, tremor before she bursts four times. Which means that what you want is you want to apply your Cavernous Wailing uh, the turn before. And then on the current turn, you want to use your Faust Ego, burst four times after converting them into a combination of white plus yellow. And that will let you deal 99 times 12, potentially 12, uh, burst damage. And that will be 1188 sloth damage to the enemy, assuming you have stacked up 99 tremor potency. If it's lesser, then change the 99 to some other number, pretty much. Right? But that's not all the damage that you can get. And of course, if you don't hit all of the hits, then you will not be able to get the additional procs. But there will also be other characters that will proc the burst, whether it be Rose Banner Masol, Rose Banner Rodeon, um, um, Molar Otis, as well as Euro DV, Ryoshu, and Euro DV Honglu. All of these characters can proc burst. So if we combine some of the best bursters in the game, Regret Files also, like, we will essentially do an insane amount of damage because we will be bursting, we will be propping additional bursts on our burst. We will be doing 3 bursts per character, almost uh, 2 to 3 bursts. So it's going to be an insane amount of damage. And we basically just explode the enemy. So yeah, even if the enemy does not die from this combo, they will 100% right, be uh, staggered. Because while you're bursting them, right, you are also doing regular tremor bursts. So you will be raising their stagger threshold as you are bursting them. Of course, this doesn't matter when you're fighting a boss that totally um, doesn't have a stagger threshold. But essentially with this, if the boss has a stagger threshold, they are 100% staggered after all of this nuking, pretty much. Yeah, it's a very, very powerful combo. And Tremor has essentially become a combo focus status where you want to stack the status as high as possible and then get yellow-white. Yellow-white, boom, explode. And then you just burst, 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 and then the enemy will die. Yep. All right. So now that I've talked about that, let's talk about the actual characters and how they fare alone as well as with the team. Starting off with Hong Lu, I want to talk about Hong Lu's skills and coins first. He is basically a charge character, but tremor. And the good thing about tremor is that you can kind of stack above, like above 20 pretty much. Charge is restricted to a certain number, but Tremor is not, so you can stack it pretty high. For Tremor here, um, skill 1 is going to be gain 2, gain 2. Skill 2 is going to be gain 3, gain 3. Skill 3 will be the consumer, so it's like your rip space. And it will give you coin power plus 2 if you consume 10. Uh, and then uh, if you consume 15, you gain coin power plus 3. Coin power plus 3 will make this a 6, 12, 18, 24, 27. But actually most of the time, right? you will use the consume 10 instead, which is going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 23. The reason why you will be usually consuming 10 is because um, the only requirement to trigger all of these tremor bursts is actually just to consume 10. So you don't really need to go this high in order to use the skill 3 here. But if you use the skill 3, you just get additional coin power, which is going to be quite helpful for you, of course. But consume 10 would be the ideal number for you, so you can save up some tremor for a future nuke also. But now I know it's just like small min-maxing. You don't really need to care about that. In general, for this skill tree here, you have almost a rip space level. This is almost leap and this is almost rip, right? But the payoff for the skill tree is very good if you combo with the Tremor Gang because you will definitely get more damage than a rip space even though you only have 4 coins and less coin power because of your Tremor Reverb 
allowing you to burst, burst, burst to deal additional sloth damage. <coughs> Just like that, this combo will let you do an insane amount of tremor sloth damage on top of the damage you deal from this 4 coin skill tree. Very, very, very powerful character. And the best part, this character doesn't even need the clash power plus one for every tremor on target. Like, this character gains tremor count damage. If he, if he has a certain amount of tremor count, his skills will gain coin power. That means, right, even if you don't run him in tremor, you can totally use this guy. All you need is to slowly build up your tremor count and eventually you will clash above normal. And then if you save up until 15, you get a 27 skill tree pretty much. Very, very solid already for a Honglu ID to just function outside of his tremor team. It's damn strong. It's really very, very strong and flexible, versatile, but ideally wants to be in the tremor gang for huge damage, of course. Right. Defense is going to be a shield. It gains 2 times tremor count on target as shield HP. That's nice. Passive is damage up next turn equal to the number of times this unit triggered tremor burst this turn. So if you do skill 3 into skill 2, that's 30% extra damage. If you do skill 2 into skill 3, that's additional 10% damage. Either way, you just treat this as a free damage up every time you burst. It's fine. Support passive is when the first deployed identity triggers tremor burst with skill or coin effects. 25% chance to trigger an additional tremor burst once per turn. Not good enough. 25% and once per turn, not good enough. In my opinion, you would definitely always use this character on the field if you are running tremor or if you just want to use him just to unga bunga something down. I think this character is very, very, very strong alone. And if you were to slap him in his tremor team, he would go on to be like the best character in the tremor team because he will be doing an insane amount of damage with all of this bursting. And his status is super super important for Tremor. I don't think Tremor can actually function without one Honglu on the team. So yeah, this Honglu is a core member of Tremor team and very very strong by himself also. Right, moving on to Faust. Faust, um, wing beat kind of sprinted so that Faust could run across the world or some shit like that. Because 5, 10, 15, 20, 24 on a WoW Ego and it's available at all times is pretty damn strong because 24 is about a skill tree's level worth of damage, right? And furthermore, you get more damage if you are faster than the target and your passive also gives you haste if you trigger tremor burst. So, this in combination with this lets you do quite a bit of extra damage to a target. Basically a skill tree in the situation where you don't have a uh, very strong skill in your hand and you want to nuke the enemy. But the biggest reason to use this is not the damage, it's actually the tremor synergy is like super super good inflict tremor potency by two times highest resonance maximum of 10 so five resonance will let you get 10 tremor potency and if the highest resonance was sloth absolute resonance you would inflict tremor count by the tremor potency so 10 10 there will be 10 tremor potency 10 tremor count and then on the first coin on hit inflict 10 tremor potency and 10 tremor count this is an additional one on top of this over here. So always try to get Sloth Absolute Resonance because 20 Tremor and 20 Tremor is basically halfway there for your 50-50 requirement for Tremor Everlasting. Why is it 50-50? Because the skill itself says if you have 50 Tremor Potency, that's a 50% chance to trigger an additional Tremor Burst. And when you have 50 Tremor Count, you have a 50% chance to trigger an additional Tremor Burst. So 50-50, and then the chance of you rolling the additional um, burst is also 50-50. Pretty gambly, but at the same time, additional tremor burst on top of reverb, like I said, nuclear bomb is extremely, extremely good. Furthermore, like I said, this eagle will burst four times, which is why it is ideally the one you use to finish the combination, right? Like let's, let's treat amplitude entanglement as like fusing of um, two atoms pretty much. Oh, sorry, splitting of the two atoms. So Tremor Everlasting should come afterwards. So you should set up your Tremor um, Reverb first so that you can use this to split the atom and then boom, 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 boom. The enemy will just explode from this point on. That is what I'm uh, thinking here. And yeah, this is ideally the one you use to trigger. And of course, there will be some situations where it's better to do the white. And then after that, you use the yellow to trigger. And then you burst from there. And then you can actually use Regret Faust skill 3 in order to get a few extra bursts instead of the 4 bursts here, which is totally fine also. Unfortunately, Regret Faust and Wow Faust 
uh, kind of share the same body, so you can't really like use both at the same time unless you give them two actions. So it's a bit annoying, but at the same time, it's very very powerful. So I can understand why they kind of did this, so they can kind of control the power level. But yeah, this ego is insanely strong. And it's also slapped onto a super strong tremor ID. The bad thing is you can't use both at the same time, and you do want to use Faust as the finisher because of four tremor bursts. But if you want to use Regret Faust skill tree, feel free to use Tremor Faust first, and then use Regret Faust to go and unga boonga with her skill tree. Right. That is really all I have to say about this ego. It is practically core. It is the key. To unlocking the full power of Tremor it lets you burst down bosses, burst down stagger bars insanely quick. Really very very powerful. And if you were to just look at this ego alone without any help, right? Assuming you cannot get the resonance, uh, you cannot get the sloth A resonance, you just use her in the Unga Bunga team. Then what happens is that you get maybe a certain resonance, some potency, otherwise you only get 10 Tremor, 10 count. But what happens is that you will trigger 10 Tremor 4 times and that's also pretty damn strong and because you have Tremor Everlasting, you have a chance to trigger that 10 Tremor a few more times as well. So even though it's a low chance, it's still a chance but in a vacuum, it's still pretty okay because you are getting this amount of damage and you are getting a significant amount of staggered damage to the target and any other Tremor Bursters in your team, if you happen to have them in your Unga Bunga team, will be able to also get a little bit of value from your Tremor Everlasting. So as a standalone, it's pretty okay, but the true power is when it combos with the Tremor Gang. So decent by itself and ultra strong, but with their team is the name of these two IDs and Egos. Decent by themselves, strong with the team. Let's talk about the team now though. For the team itself, my, my theory crafted team comp, it's going to be Regret Faust, Volar Ishmael, Rose Spanner, Rodion, uh, Otis, uh, Basalt, Rose Spanner, as well as Zero Divi, Hong Lu, of course. With the most important egos being the uh, the Cavernous Wailing Ego for Hong Lu, Cavernous Wailing, to apply the Reverb, Wow Ego for Faust, as the last one is going to be Effervescent Corrosion if I go and dispense it, but I have to go and farm a little bit more to go and get this ego here. This ego is good because it gives you 7 Trevor count on hit, so that is really quite strong for a ego to apply a significant amount of Trevor count to start it off. And yeah, why am I using these instead of all these other options? Well, for Mola Office, he's, um, I can actually see an argument for him because he generates lust and sometimes you need lust for the Faust ego, but I'm only using Otis as my main lust generator. So um, the reason why Otis is fine as the last generator is because you're usually discarding your skill 1 which means you're usually using skill 2 or skill 3 in order to discard the skill 1 and most of the time you will be able to get enough lust from this Otis ID. So you don't really need this guy which means that his support passive will be the useful one because his support passive will give you um, additional defense level down per 4 stagger threshold race. That's pretty okay. You can of course swap to any others for more damage boost or whatever. I didn't really find any other interesting ones. Why is Uffi Heathcliff not in the team is another thing that people might ask. Well, that is because Uffi Heathcliff does not have Tremor Burst in his kit except when you uptie for him and only when he transforms Tremor into Tremor Decay. He is kind of forgotten at this point. I literally looked at him and was like, isn't he supposed to belong here? And then I was like, wait a minute, this guy is actually so shit compared to a lot of other options that I can do. Because why do I need defense level down? Even though it does increase the damage, it's not significant enough compared to Tremor Everlasting plus Tremor Reverb. Like those two, yellow and white, it's just way way stronger than Tremor Purple. And if you do change one of the Tremors to Tremor Purple, then you might fuse with the white or the yellow into purple. And you don't want that to happen because white plus yellow is the big nuke combo. You don't want this purple to exist because, I mean, you, you could theoretically maybe fuse purple with white and yellow, but it's so much effort. And yeah, it's just too, it's just like, it pollutes the pool, makes it harder to get the combo. It's really, really hard already. I don't like this skill tree to pollute my pool and this character does not have enough tremor potency. The passive is okay, it gives you more clash power, but you can definitely swap him out for like more blunt damage using base 
Heathcliff or anything else really. Doesn't really matter who you use. This Heathcliff is not really used that much. Uh, Dawn, I didn't have any. I just put the base one here. I didn't find any other interesting passives. Um, Sinclair, of course, because if you look at the skill, it's plus one travel potency application. Very good. Definitely kit. And then Healing Gregor, because healing, couldn't find any other tremor related ones. And then Ryushu, the other free unit of this banner. Um, sorry, not the banner, the event. So this free unit, right, is not very good. Because even at Apply 4, she is kept at 4 tremor count. And also, she is kept at 5 tremor count. So this cap here, Makes her not very good because I can get a shit ton of tremor count from many other sources. I can get it from my Rudion, I can get it from my Ishmael's, I can get it from literally any character. So I really don't feel a need to run her in my team comp. Uh, one good thing I will say about her is that her skill 1 is Lust, which means that you will be able to get the Ego energy for your WoW Ego very easily. But at the same time, you don't really need this much tremor count, I would say. Uh, one of the lacks of this team, right, is not really tremor count because effervescent corrosion spam would give you 7 tremor count per use of the ego. That's pretty solid. And you only need 50 tremor count, while you need 99 potency to get maximum damage. So potency is way more important than count, which is why I didn't want to use her. The passive though is extremely strong because one deployed ally, the first deployed ally, gains plus one more tremor count from their skill or coin effects two times per turn. Now that is insanely good because that means right, you can feed any of these characters that needs coins on their body to actually function. Whether it be her, her, her or him. All of them need the uh, tremor count on themselves and since hers triggers twice per turn, you can potentially get quite a bit of extra tremor count. Even if it only triggers once a turn, it's already a big boost to speeding up the gains of these characters here. So yeah, I would say she's way better on the support bench than on the actual field. Yeah. Alright. And then, um, why is Rose Banner Assault here maybe? Right. Rose Banner Assault is here because he's actually one of the best tremor potency appliers in the game. He applies 4, and then 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 6. So that is actually significant amounts of potency application. Uh, Mular Sinclair kind of comes close, but doesn't really because his skill 2 applies 6 tremor. But I mean, his skill 1 will do tremor count, his skill 3 will do tremor count, so it's not particularly important. And I'd rather give his support passive to someone else who could use it better, right? So, potency wise, he is one of my main characters, and he also has a burst in his kit, and that is pretty important to me. I think Mula Boatworks does not have a burst, right? Yeah, I don't think he has a burst damage. Uh, I'm sorry, not a burst damage. He doesn't have um, he doesn't have a tremor burst pretty much. So like he won't be able to get benefit from the uh reverb. So Mula Ishmael, of course, can be swapped out for LCCB Ishmael, right? But why would you? Is my question. Like yes, you do gain sixteen potency, but if you look at this team comp again, right? One, two, three, four, five, right? These characters, right? All of them are defense. This is counter-attack, defense, 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 defense. You can look at it yourself. But she's the only evasion in my team. And I would like to have one evasion just in case I have to fight something that's really, really annoying. Furthermore, LCCB Ishmael does not have Sloth. And I do want to try to trigger Faust Ego as much as possible. And this requires Sloth Resonance. So needing Sloth Resonance and not having Sloth here on one of the IDs already is quite a pain in the ass, so that's why I do not want to swap to LCB Ishmael. But I do consider that if you want to swap in this guy instead, he does have Sloth and he does have Lust for the Faust feeding, which is why I think it's okay, but once again, he does not apply enough tremor potency to help hit 99 tremor potency fast. So that's why I didn't really consider him over Mosot. That is ultimately the final decision that I've made here. So, regret Faust. Ishmael, Rosebanner Rodion, Otis, uh, Masalt, and Hong Lu will be my final team comp here. The Lust will mainly come from Otis as, and the other resources that we need for our Egos will come from a lot of the other IDs. Uh, for Faust, I believe she only needs um, Pride, Gloom, Sloth, and Lust. With Sloth super easily taken care of, 
Gloom being uh, pretty easily taken care of as well. There's quite a few sources in this team. And then Pride is also pretty easy because Regret Files, Ishmael, yeah, like that's a lot of different sources here in this team comp. So ego-wise, we are settled here. Effervescent Corrosion is also as easily charged up. Effervescent Corrosion is Sloth, Gloom, Pride. Like I said, very, very easy to charge it up. Very, very cheap, in fact. So that's why I think I need that ego and then I will use this team for sure. The big potency appliers in this team are all of the characters just slapping the enemy, but it also comes mainly from Rodion. Either her corroded form, sorry, uh, her corrosion, effervescent corrosion, or vibration compression. Because this thing inflicts two tremor and inflicts two more tremor each time the coin is reused, allowing you to apply um, 12 pretty much. It's 2, 4, 8, right? No, 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 it's 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, yeah. So that's 12 potency pretty much with this skill too. And Effervescent Corrosion will also help you to apply more pot uh, more count as well. Yeah, so yeah, very, very important character to put in the team. Rose Banner Rodion is very, very good. Okay, so that is going to be it for the summary of the team comp. This is my ideal team. If you have your own, feel free to let me know. My voice hurts a little bit now, so I'm just going to end this video here. Thanks guys for watching. Leave a comment if there's anything wrong or there's any other suggestions you have. And that's it. Thanks. Bye-bye.